Hey guys, it's uh, Sam again. Um, okay, so following up on this uh, little contraption. So basically the front of it has got a thread um, and basically it's an undersized hole. You use the fitting yourself and you it, it probably takes a few, few turns to actually try and get it going. But uh, once it starts, make sure it's actually fairly straight. And then obviously with the spanner, you're going to have to just try and tighten and tighten and tighten. Now one thing I fail to um, take into account is that this plastic ring is actually bigger than the spanner that you're trying to use. So what I was envisaging and doing, it was actually getting the spanner in there, crank it in there, and that way I can actually use a ratchet spanner to, to tighten it up. But it's okay because Basically, once the fitting's in there, you can actually use the whole thing to rotate it around. Um, the trick is that the tube on this end needs to be uh, pushed through. Um, on the extruder end, uh, you probably need to uh, decouple that. Um, otherwise, as you keep turning this one, this will twist and it just makes a big mess. Anyway, so we'll just tighten this one on. And uh, as you can see, it's a really nice fit. You don't want to over tighten it because don't forget, you're going into plastic. So uh, between metal and plastic, the metal is going to win every single time. The back hole is actually a through hole. Um, and you can see how, how out of whack it is uh, because the Y axis on my A net that I printed on is really bad um, but for this purpose it will do the job so okay so you got that in obviously I can't use the ratchet inside here um, you're just gonna have to use a spanner in this way here now one thing I did kind of didn't really realize until I actually tried it with the single fitting itself and that is you need to use a fitting that has got the 4mm through hole through it so that the tube can actually go past that fitting. What you'll find is on the extruder end, it'll have a little spigot that this part of the tube actually sits into and uh, it should be a nice snug fit. Um, but I believe the trick is to actually get this to, to grab nicely is you need to, when you put this onto the extruder, you don't actually tighten it all the way. You probably leave uh, two turns left to do. You push the tube in all the way until it won't go anymore. And then you actually tighten the fitting itself. And what that does is it will basically hit the back end of the extruder and as you're tightening it's going to force that tube to push forward and the teeth to actually really bite into this tube and i tried this um just before i did the double uh fitting trick and i found it was really tight and you couldn't actually push it in anymore and you couldn't pull it out Whereas initially I could I could always see a tiny fraction of this fitting going in and out, but I, I believe probably I never put it in to begin with properly, um, and that's probably why I was getting the fittings failing on me because they actually had enough room to go backwards and forwards, and eventually the teeth broke off. So this may not be needed. Um, the only reason why you'd probably want this double fitting is that just in case the front one, which is doing really all the work, um, does break teeth and you're in the middle of a big print, this second one will actually obviously catch it um, and hopefully get you through the print until you get to the end. Um, Alright, I'm just going to turn the camera off and then we'll we'll go to the printer and I'll, I'll install it on the printer and you can see how how that all works okay so we're at the printer now um, and what we want to do is get that one started okay. 
Okay. And you just want to probably finger tight. Then we need the tube, which I'll put over here. Yeah. Grab the tube. Go through the first fitting, through the second fitting, and make sure it goes all the way to the back. Then you twist the tube with the fitting. Otherwise what ends up happening is if the tube stays there, as this starts turning, uh, the teeth will actually chew into the tube and you'll end up with uh, a tube that will probably split. Um, now I'm only doing this to the point where this is fairly tight, but not too tight. And probably at the point where you can actually still turn this bit around. Okay. And the orientation of this doesn't really matter. It could be sideways, upways. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it doesn't interfere with anything. Once you've got that right, then you can actually stick it into your extruder and push it all the way in. Um, and just to show you, if you want to get it off, so... I normally use two fingers which pop this fitting out and then two fingers on this one and you should be able to just pull it straight out so there you go so no tool needed it it's fairly self-explanatory I think the problem is that if you try and do it like that as it is now and you actually haven't had the chance to actually tighten this up up against the back of it 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 will give you the problem where it can actually move but even even with that like i can't get this thing to budge at all but i imagine the proper way is to loosen this up a little See if you can push it in a bit more, which I can, and then give it the final tighten. That's pretty tight. And then straight into the extruder. And she is ready to go. Now if you notice there, when, when you put a lot of pressure on it, the actual gantry moves up and down. Um, I, I just printed off a little um, stand where it actually fits inside the extrusion. Um, and I stick that under the gantry on both sides and I get the gantry dead straight. So it's trammed to the rest of the extrusion. Uh, and then once your motors start up, it, it holds everything in place. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you want the STL for this part here. Um, and even this thing here, I'll, I'll probably put on Thingiverse if I've got enough people interested. Um, but other than that, I, I think in doing it in the first part, as I said, you need to put the tube in into that aluminium aluminium extrusion um, and then tighten the fitting afterwards which will actually bite right into the teeth so this might not even be needed to be quite it, it it's only if you're really worried and you want a second fitting just to hold on to it um, just in case anyway I'll stop rambling and uh, hope you guys stay safe and see you later so to be quite honest, I don't think this project will kind of get any further for me because guess what arrived today. So I am going to swap over to this direct drive. Um, I won't have a chance to do it now, but definitely if Australia goes into a lockdown, it will definitely give me something to do while we're twiddling our thumbs and waiting for the government to let us go back to work. Anyway, hope you guys have a nice day, and doesn't look too bad, should be quite interesting to install, 
and hopefully that will improve my print dramatically.